Wardlow did a little interview package from some location somewhere. Was it in? And, let me stop you right there because this is part of. I couldn't stop thinking about this. Was it Philadelphia? Because they were in Philadelphia. Did they shoot him going up the stairs like Rocky? Well, it. I didn't. I didn't back it up to say for sure, and I didn't see it again, so I don't know. But apparently, that he was just out and about in Philadelphia. But the point is, I wanted to hear. Okay, what's his story? What's he? What's he doing? You know, he knocked down Tony Schiavone the other week. He's been power bombing everybody. Why is he pissed off at the world? Well, he's pissed off at the world because he had to sit at home for four months, not from injuries, not being on vacation, but going into a dark place. Because he had to see that no good MJF become everybody's favorite, become the world heavyweight champion. Everybody loves MJF and everything. He, he's the most popular guy. Okay, why did why did that make Wardlow have to sit at home for four months? Again, like, like when Hobbs got pissed off at Jericho when he was seven. They've been in the same company for four years, but he took four years to punch him in the face or whatever. Well, now... It's almost like they're pretending everything that happened after the pay-per-view where Wardlow beat MJF didn't happen. Yeah, the last time that he was over, about a year and a half ago, when he beat MJF and then MJF went on to be the world champion and they couldn't come up with anything for Wardlow besides powerbombing people, you know, every six months or so. But why did he have to sit a, he, going into a dark place? I was so... You don't want to hear that from some badass fucking heel wrestler, I guess now he's a heel. You don't want to hear, well, they just wouldn't let me come to work because Tony didn't have any ideas for me, so I just sit and watch this other guy get more popular than me. No, it, I can understand. I If they'd have done this a year and a half ago, if when MJF was gone, Wardlow was still there, and then MJF comes back, and then Wardlow says, wait a minute, I beat this guy, and now he's back and he's the world champion? I ought to get a shot. His time, his statue, as they say, of limitations for something like, hadn't it run out by now? He's been back, and he's been gone again, and back again and gone again. Why now? Why now is why I'm asking as my gardener pulls up to my property. Oh, good God. No, and starts there working. Are no, there but are no people there. Stay away from the mushrooms. Are, there are a crew. You're hearing there, all of this. This has nothing there, to do with the mushrooms. Your gardeners are bringing you mushrooms. That's why you hear all these fucking noises. They're good people. Listen, they're good people. They just make a lot of noise. But back to they're what we're talking mushroom about. dealers. No one said that. Again, no evidence or proof of this. Just uh, the gardener. Okay, now I know what gardener has meant all along. On a side note, I used to buy weed years and years and years and years ago on Long Island. Long before the statute of limitations. From a grocer who would get his <laughs> fresh groceries like in the Bronx. Called it Produce. Produce. <laughs> but with the produce, he got just the finest, freshest. It was great stuff. But it was a pain well, in the you ass. Know, it, it's the mom there. and pop shops that have been the backbone of the United States economy for I don't know how long now. That's right. You used to be able to go to any bodega in Brooklyn. And if it had a yellow on it, you can go in there and get whatever you wanted. But whatever. Back to this. What we're talking about is Wardlow. And he had a very visible, almost fluorescent cross around his neck. So, or on his shirt, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it was a weird dichotomy between the religious connotation and whatever he was saying about wanting to kill MJF. No Arn Anderson, obviously. So they've gotten Wardlow away from Arn. We've seen him bomb. I, for, I, I forgot he was with Arn. Exactly. That's the problem. Oh. The way they followed everything they did to follow up Wardlow beating MJF completely blew it. So I agree with going to the, uh, once again, the Bobby Ewing technique. None of that happened. <laughs> we'll just start again. Can you get anything out of Wardlow? Yeah. At this point, I don't know. When I hear these interview pieces, it, I don't know whether they're giving him this because he can't talk on his own or whether this is something that he's written 
And but he's it sounds like something that he or somebody wrote and he's reciting it. It's very flowery verbiage. Most people don't talk like that, especially some big badass. But uh, again, it's it never followed up on. Remember, he was. You know, he was suing the, they're getting sued by the fucking security company for beating them up. And it, he's had all these different weird things go on. But whenever you give him the opportunity to speak in the ring, as rarely as that has come, or to speak on one of these packages, nothing is jumping out about his verbiage or his delivery or his voice or his. Remember, I said. And somebody on Twitter said, now I can't unsee it. He looks and sounds up about as boring as Ethan Page, just bigger on the sauce. He just kind of sounds like a boring guy that uses a lot of boring words. But when he didn't open his mouth, he looked like the biggest badass of all time. Yeah, so maybe if they'd have had a real manager, Pinocchio to swerve his mind around to the evil side and take over after he'd beat MJF and do his talking for him and then figure out a way to get him involved in the mix. Maybe that would have worked. I, I don't yeah. think this guy can talk for himself because he, he doesn't sound like he means it. And he's already, remember we say he's what? 30 something years old. See, so I don't know. Your cross promotional stables coming together. Wardlow, Nakamura and you. Oh, good. They Lord. all need talkers or a talker. Hey, well, let me just work on breeding some more talkers. I'll work on the breeding. <laughs>